So now that I've covered the topic of what containers are, we're here to the main topic of this course, which is Docker itself. But before diving into the specifics of installation and the technical tidbits, I want to cover a little analogy around what Docker and what containers are doing in a historical context for servers and applications and the technology around it all. If you look back and you go out to Google, wherever, and you search for 1800s freight, you'll see pictures like this one where there's a dock worker taking boxes, not any particular type of box, just some random sized box off of a ship onto a little push cart. Then in this other picture, you see they have a, a, a net where ship workers are moving it around and loading it up by hand to then lift it and bring it over to the dock workers who will then unload it by hand and put it onto carts or push carts or maybe a train car or whatever is at the dock for those the, the particular merchandise. And then here you see an even bigger loading dock with the crane and the net, it's set up to pull some boxes out of there. But then if you look down at the very bottom of the bay where there's a crewman down there, you'll see that there's a bunch of wood planks. I don't even know how they're gonna get that out. What all this shows though, is that freight movement of goods was ridiculously difficult back in the day. Things, however, started to change in this past century. A man developed a standard container. It seemed like kind of a no-brainer idea. It was just a standard box, doors on the ends. You could load all your goods into it, put it on a ship or a train or whatever type of vehicle. It was standard, so you could build the connectors to carry it any way you wanted to. As long as it held this standard container, you were good to go. Put your merchandise in it and off you go. Needless to say, if you go to any port in the world, you will see pictures like this, where there are literally thousands of containers on trains, on ships, on trucks. Because of the standardization of these containers, they were able to put the items in there and just off it went. And it made shipping so much faster literally cutting the price of shipping in half to a third to a fourth to a fifth of what it was just years before the introduction of the container technology. Docker is introducing that level of technology to application hosting and services in the computer industry. Docker is basically providing a standardized container type of technology to put your application into and then host it on whatever type of environment, server, service that you need to host it in.